Many homeowners as well as facilities across Texoma are in the midst of damage control after frozen pipes burst causing flooding and a lot of damage. Shatania Clark looked into just how bad it is in places in Shatania. It's extremely bad in some places. It is, Lauren. The owner of Service Master of Wichita Falls says at Vernon College, for example, most of the front portion of the facility needs repairs. The sad part of it is we wish we could help everybody immediately, but unfortunately we can't. Michael Albert of Service Master of Wichita Falls says the company has depleted resources locally and regionally, responding to floods in the area following the historic winter storm many Texans are trying to recover from. We've responded to a large number of uh, large facility losses, 40, 50, 100,000 square foot facilities that um, just like the Vernon College we're at currently, um, they had a pipe bust, flooded. It was unattended, so it ran for a little while. Albert says a specialty crew was brought in to help manage these losses so the local crew can focus on homeowners. Unfortunately, sometimes we have to prioritize. Um, priority always refers to um, and goes to our medical facilities so they can continue to see patients and help people. Facilities like the clinics of North Texas. Clinics North Texas priority was to be open to service our customers. So we're operating a nighttime crew there to allow them to operate during the daytime. Here in this facility, our main priority are getting students back into classes next week. So we have to make sure that this environment is safe for them as well. We um, did a whole bunch of cleaning and, and dehydration and stuff on Monday night and during the night uh, and through the day on Monday and then Tuesday. We um, opened the clinic back up and saw patients on Thursday. So what some physicians have done is they've decided to go ahead and add some afternoons, like for instance, added some clinics to make up for those patients that lost appointments on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Albert shows us how he and his crew have been testing for moisture and says homeowners can do the same. Yesterday, this had 100% moisture content, six inches high on the wall. You can't see the visible. Some of the signs to look for, separating on your baseboards, like you see here, the water will uh, delaminate the glue. And we check approximately six inches. It's still wet. Albert advises residents to know where their water shutoff is before, in case their pipes do burst, so they can avoid flood and damage.